Hey everybody and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new 2019 and a half Forest River R-Pod 179 model. We're going to take a few minutes to check out the outside and then the inside of this coach and this particular unit again is the 179 which is basically a rear kitchen single queen bed across the front u-shaped slide out and a wet bath. Now the unit's about 20 feet long the units are super light. I'll get to the weight when we get over to that side of the unit, but a lot of people tow these with Jeeps and small SUV vehicles. Um, the camper has a power tongue jack on the front, single 20-pound propane tank, and we provide you with a single battery on the front. However, there's room for two. We've actually had some customers choose to aftermarket upgrade to 20 dual 20 pound tanks on the front. We can do that for you if you want. Just talk with your salesperson. The unit comes with a single hard bottle cover to protect that propane tank. This unit was ordered, or well, this unit sold actually. So it was, uh, the customer chose to do an E2 weight distribution hitching system. And that helps with weight distribution of tongue weight and sway. You can kind of see that bracket there. Just to the left is a propane hookup right there, so you could do a portable grill. Or new for some of the R-Pod models is an optional outdoor kitchen, which basically gives you a two-burner stove and a little dump sink. Slides out of that storage compartment right down there. Now, if you do that little sink, it does take up pretty much almost that whole storage compartment right there. So that's something to consider if you're ordering that. If you don't order that, you still get the gas hookup down there, and also you still get the little black uh, spray port with the blue hose. So you do get both of those features no matter what. Here you can kind of see into that compartment area there. It does go back in there. Down below is your dump hose holder. The storage door is also held up with magnetic connectors. To the left of the door is the little round thing, your spray port for that blue water hose laying in there. Above that, electric outlet. Little black thing right there is the awning foot holder if you put the leg against the camper. Two outdoor speakers. You have your standard porch light, again, with an LED light outside. A lot of them take away that porch light because they give you an LED light. So it's kind of nice having both. Two outdoor speakers window in the entry door the unit comes standard with 15 inch tires i know some brands out there on the market are only doing 14s with an option for 15s but these are 15 standard double entry step the nicer aluminum step going in and out of the coach um, also on the axle it is an upgraded torsion flex axle instead of a leaf spring axle so that does give the unit a softer ride when bouncing up and down the road. So that is a nice upgrade. You should uh, maybe check out a couple videos that you'll see online about those, kind of explaining the differences. Nice rounded front and rear of the coach. Now one of the nice things on the R-Pod vehicle, from front to back is actually one piece fiberglass. There's not a two piece section on the roof one on each side where a rubber or tpo type of roof is connected so the less seams up there to have issues with plus it's fiberglass so you don't have to worry about treating it like you do a rubber roof led running lights and led tail lights on the coach on the back here you'll see your spare tire that spare tire is actually slid into an inch and a quarter bike rack receiver you can take the spare out if you want, put a bike hitch in there, just throw the spare in the back of your truck. Um, they also offer a hitch um, bike rack that you can do aftermarket called the jacket, uh, which basically puts the bikes on the tongue of the camper, but again, that does add to the hitch weight. So depending on what type of vehicle you're towing with, you may or may not be able to do that. Here is the outside utility shower, so you have hot and cold water. Your electric outlet right there. It's a quick disconnect, marine grade style cord. Your cable and satellite hook up there. Down below there is the dump and low point water drains for the gray tank. 
your toilet tank is actually up front. And yes, you do have two separate tanks. Um, the camper sits fairly low to the ground along with trying to plumb between the axles. It does not function very well. So that is why they do it two separate tank systems. On a higher camper, it's much easier to tilt the tanks and run the tubing so things flow properly. Tanks on RVs are gravity fed, so they gotta be able to flow out properly. Slide out is electric. This is a Schwintech slide system. So it's electric motors running it in and out. Those two black panels right there are a back of the refrigerator for access of maintenance purposes. Here on the front of this side, you'll see you have your six gallon gas and electric water heater. There is the furnace exhaust, your city water hookup, and your fresh water tank fill. There's also a hitch light on the front of the coach. And the lower part is also diamond plate. And another little feature they added here, you can put your seven way Bargman plug in here. It's a little storage holder for when you're storing it. You just take the cord and stick it back there into that so it's up and out of the way instead of just hanging down to the ground. Up top, you can see the 13.5 BTU air conditioner. It is a low profile AC. Saves you a few inches of height compared to the traditional AC. And I forgot to mention on the fender there is actually a LED running light, which kind of helps you when you're driving down the road to see that the wheels are out past the body in the dark. And there's a black tank flush right there to clean out the toilet system. You basically hook the hose to that, it floods the tank and it shoots out the other side. Standard screen door large folding entry handle now, one of the big changes on the rv construction wise is the new asdale composite panel that asdale material you can sort of see it right here fiberglass is glued to an eighth inch luon board on most products here it's glued to an asdale material that doesn't rot when it gets wet so that is something that is a huge feature on the new R-Pod. So that Asdale material is used in the sidewalls and the roof system, protecting that for water leak damage. Again, you still gotta seal your windows and any hole they put in it with typical caulking or Dicor type of sealant. But that is a big bonus in case you don't catch it right away. It's not gonna soak up the water like a typical Lou on board style camper. Looking into the coach, this is the rear of the camper you're walking into here. So you got your fire extinguisher there, vinyl floor throughout, kitchen across the back. It's got a nice window across the back also. High-rise faucet. Inside, you're noticing new paneling and also new wood color. This changed on the 19 and a half. We're going to walk on up in here. You have the two burner stove top with the glass stove cover. That cover does flip up and act as a backsplash. Three full extending ball bearing drawer guides, two electric outlets, and two cabinets, and two USB charger ports there also. They went to a new rounded stainless undermount sink with the high rise faucet on the new model. There's also a sink cover that goes there. This one was ordered with the optional convection microwave, so it acts as a small oven or microwave, whichever way you want to use, uh, use the camper. The camper also has the 3.7 cubic foot refrigerator, and this is a true three-way refrigerator. Most brands, similar knockoff brands of the R-Pod are using just a two-way. But this has your electric button, your gas button, and your 12-volt battery button right here. So if you're traveling down the road, you can use it on battery power or propane. When you're plugged in, you can just plug it right into the electric side. There's a little push-down button here. This opens up. Now, the freezer part, the little small flip-down freezer here, you can actually remove this if you want. 
this will slide out just making the refrigerator section taller I'm going to turn around here and look toward the front side when you walked into the door there the electric box is right there with the breakers and fuses there is a propane leak detector down there pretty good sized little closet area there and you have your monitor panel along with your water pump switch your awning in and out switch and some light switches there your furnace and heater control right there which is a digital thermostat for both so it's more accurate some brands use the old analog style along with the two little cheap knobs on the air conditioner to try and control it so nice upgrade for that feature quite a bit of depth here another nice feature is the nicer euro hinges on the doors there just gives it a cleaner look when the cabinet doors are closed all LED lights on the inside of the coach also you have some nice overhead cabinets there and this here actually has a little shock on it to hold those up the u-shaped dinette section here will make into a bed there's a little storage underneath of one of the little pieces that stick out there those cushions just remove and the slide out comes in to the end of those little cushions so you still have room to walk in and out of here and use your camper when you're traveling down the highway wet bath behind this door here this again has a bathroom door on it that does lock the small wet bath so you have a sink shower and toilet all in one section here a nice big exhaust fan there and also notice the ABS shower surround the white shower surround here I've noticed as I've looked around at some of the other brands on the market they're not doing that they're just putting the typical RV wall board in there, which means you're going to have to wipe that down every time you're done showering and really watch your curtain area as well so that you don't end up damaging that wood over time. Here, R-Pod being smarter, they've been doing this for a long time compared to some of these other brands trying to do the similar product. They were smart enough to protect those shower walls. The bed is 60 inches wide, 74 inches long. Bed is ran sideways on the coach. Um, so if you are a really tall gentleman or lady, um, that is one thing to consider when looking at a small RV like this. These are short queens. So you may or may not be comfortable with that. Storage down below. Also the furnace is underneath of there. That is an auto light furnace ran by that digital thermostat so when you hit the button it auto lights it's a 20,000 BTU furnace where some of the other brands are only using an 18 you have three full extending ball bearing drawer guides there and then you've got a pretty good depth here on a hanging closet indoor outdoor speaker controls the Furion radio has an HDMI and USB charger thing there um, optional 24 inch flat screen TV on a swing around arm so you can watch it when you're in bed or swing it around to watch it from the dinette now you have a window on both sides of the bed that does slide open so you get a nice cross breeze on a cool fall night or early spring day or if you don't mind the heat even in the summer be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you're interested in checking out more of my videos as I try to update all the new products coming in. Toll free number 888-417-8299, my direct extension 203. If you are interested in purchasing one of these new RPODs, please feel free to give Ray a call. Thanks for checking out my video.